What's up, YouTube? Ryan here. Welcome back to 1517 Films, where in every episode I'm always contending for the faith once, for all, delivered to the saints. And in this episode, we're launching Mystery Christian Theater 3000. Stick around. <laughs> All right, Ryan, you've officially lost your rocker. What is Mystery Christian Theater 3000? Well, if you're familiar with Mystery Science Theater 3000, then you know you're watching something completely lame and you're mocking it mercilessly. So what I've set up, I created an account with the Trinity Broadcasting Network, and we are going to be mocking bad theology relentlessly and i think at this point before we get to the main show it's time to pause we're gonna pop up the ten commandments the eighth commandment right here the eighth commandment you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor what does this mean we should fear and love god so that we do not tell lies about our neighbor betray him slander him or hurt his reputation but defend him speak well of him and explain everything in the kindest way now why am i bringing this up well it's because um i'm not trying to betray or slander the name or reputation of anyone on the trinity broadcasting network but in true biblical style i'm calling a thing what it is i'm calling heresy and false doctrine heresy and false doctrine and there are plenty of occasions where the people of god in the bible have mocked false belief we recall uh, elijah and the prophets of baal where the exact translation from hebrew is hebrews hebrew is pray louder your god can't hear you he's taking a shit or uh, i've mentioned it before the apostle paul in the book of galatians writing about the judaizer saying you know if they're going to insist that you need to be circumcised in order to be saved they might as well just cut their whole dick off you know, or Jesus when he called the 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 scribes and Pharisees whitewashed tombs, or when he called them a brood of vipers. So mockery of heresy and false doctrine uh, to strip it of its power. You laugh at something. If something's trying to impress itself upon you and you laugh at it, you're stripping it of its power. So we're going to watch the Trinity Broadcasting Network because Ryan has nothing better to do with his life than rot his brain for your soul entertainment. We're going to watch it live. And we're going to see what hilarity, if any, can ensue from mocking false doctrine. So let's get this up and ready to go. All right. So we're going to go over here. We're going to go to watch. Watch live. Uh, uh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> don't make me do it, Daddy. All right. What do we got? Oh, it's the Joker. <laughs> you want to know how she got those scars? By not reading the pastoral epistles. Day, feel depressed. If I woke up in the morning and I had this thought, you know, Dave doesn't pay any attention to me. He needs... He doesn't, he doesn't do anything special for me. Ugh, I can already tell. I just get madder and madder all day and feel sorrier and sorrier for myself. If that ever happens now, which it rarely does ever happen, I just think that's a lie. Dave does all kinds of things for me. He's a great How husband. do you know when Joyce Meyer's he's lying? This, he's this, he's that. Her he's mouth that. is and open. The devil say, well, yeah, but he's not that. And I'll say, yeah, but he is this and this. Let me tell you something. The devil's going to talk to you. You might as well learn how to talk back to him. <laughs> she hadn't yet. <laughs> Devil talks to her all the time. He told her she could be a pastor. And I know there's people that think, probably people watching my TV, you think, this lady is crazy. Me, ooh, me, me, me. She is talking about <laughs> talking back to the devil. Well, all you got to read is Luke chapter 4. Jesus hey, Luther argued first. with I the devil. I can do anything he did. The Bible says that the devil said unto him, and he said unto the devil. How many of you yeah, believe that, Jesus that there is an enemy back to the devil, that you it have is an enemy written. that whispers things we don't fight the devil with our opinions. We fight the devil with it is written. Hell, they are not the truth. And if you, you know what else she said was alive from the pit of hell that she was a sinner. I don't know about you, but I am so glad that I found this out because he had control are. in my mind for way too long. I was a born and she wrote Christian, a book called Mind nobody Control. Nobody ever told me what I'm talking about here tonight. So Probably I was because born it's again, not Orthodox but Christian my mind teaching. Was full of junk all the time, and so therefore. I was mad all the time. I was upset all the time. I was jealous of people. Probably because you're a greedy. sinner. I was selfish and self-centered, but I was saved. Yeah, because there's now no I, condemnation I for those who are in Christ Jesus. 
I believe that because I really trusted Christ for my salvation. But nobody you had a good ever thing told going for me you, that Joyce. my mind made one bit of difference to the outcome in my life. And I'm asking you tonight to take Please an don't. inventory of your thoughts. Ugh. What's been on your mind lately? If you're depressed, what have you been thinking about? What? If you're what? angry, what? What have you been thinking? What? And she did it again. What have you bitter, been thinking? What have you what? been thinking about? <laughs> oh, you guys look too innocent. <laughs> I must have the really super saved uh, group here tonight. I don't, know. I don't know. I need another maybe I'll just drink. Talk to these poor folks on television that maybe don't have it all together. Oh, I don't have it all together. Ooh, she's amen. talking to me. No, no amen for you. We can have our mind renewed. Oops, she thought about opening the Bible. <laughs> Let's She's using it as a prop. And look at Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Ooh, ooh. And I know some of you, you know these scriptures, and you probably got them you underlined don't. in your Bible, and that doesn't make me one bit of difference. Let's you play a game. Again, How badly think. is she going to twist this? Do not be conformed to this world, fashioned after and adapted to its external customs. Is that in there? But be transformed, changed, by the entire renewal of your mind. Out Amen. of context. So how are we changed? First, our mind has to change. Well, and first we're made changes. alive in Christ. We don't think the way that we used to think, but we begin to actually believe this book and think like God thinks. My goodness, do you know how many problems God that said my thoughts are not your thoughts. thoughts they think about <laughs> themselves? I'll tell you what, you're looking at a woman I'll tell you I would what. be petrified anymore to think bad, junky thoughts about myself. Because I know it so displeases and so dishonors God. He sent his only son to die for you. He loved you enough to pay an awful price for you. And who do you think you are to have bad, terrible, Why did thoughts Jesus about die yourself? for me? If God <laughs> because loves I you, have you stinking you. thinking? Or because I'm a wretched sinner? Amen. I said, if God loves you, then you can love you. You don't think, you don't need to think I'm stupid. You think I'm Remember I have when the mind Paul said Christ. that he hated his flesh? You don't need to think I can't do anything. You look at Romans 12 and you say, I'm gifted and talented. There's something that I can do. I'm and good it's enough. I'm strong enough. And gosh darn it, people like me. Quit letting the devil drag you down through what I'm wrong I'm not. That I'm don't letting agree the scriptures with tell the me the truth God. so that I can I have confess. The mind of Christ. I'm gifted. I'm talented. I'm anointed. Gosh Learn darn it, people like, like me. <laughs> Learn how to see yourself the way he sees you, and your life will change. A forgiven radically. sinner? Ephesians 4.22. Verse 22 in Ephesians 4 says, Strip yourselves of your former nature. Put off and discard your old, unrenewed self, which characterized your previous manner of life, and becomes corrupt through lusts and desires that spring from delusion. Now, like if you what can you're preaching? Discipline yourself for a minute. Don't look at verse 23. Look at verse 24. Pay no attention to that verse nature, behind the curtain. The regenerate self created in God's image, Godlike, in true righteousness and holiness. Now, if I just say to people, put off the old man and put on the new man. Stop acting the way you used to act. You'd be preaching and act the law. The way God wants you to act. You'd be preaching the law. People may say, yes, I want to do that. Because but a regenerated how can heart I do does. It? Something's missing. The bridge is in verse 23. Oh, verse 22 me. says, Put off the old man and be constantly renewed in the spirit of your mind, having a fresh mental and spiritual attitude. And now you can put on the new man, recreated. In you gotta Christ stop Jesus. your stinking I can't wear thinking. The new man if I'm gonna have old thoughts. Amen. You I drown the old man renewed. by remembering your baptism. I believe that God wants to. Prosper us, so you need to have a. Uh, an that's why Jesus said, "In this God world, you will have you. trouble." I believe that God wants to use you, so you need to have an image that you're using. You're not up there material. to preach what you believe, and Joyce. You're there to preach the word of God. Why don't you remember what you did? Say yes, and that makes it all the more exciting that God could use somebody that was such a mess like me. <laughs> yes, but I am forgiven. I that's the answer alone. to the devil. If everything he tries to lie to you about, you turn it into something good. <laughs> Why Thank back? you for reminding me how much God has we don't, me We for. don't tell the devil it that is written. We tell the devil I was I'm going <laughs> to lie back. <laughs> you know something I've been doing every day for, well now, almost going on six months. I believe that God wants us to aggressively believe 
that good things are going to happen to us. <laughs> uh, if they've hated you, it's because say, they well, hated so. me. Yeah, in this yeah, world, you will anything. have trouble. Mm -hmm. Paul was given Hope a thorn in his side that God would not remove because his grace was sufficient. Preach it, Joyce. Can you wake up in the morning and when not the enemy usually. whispers to you and says, this is going to be a lousy day, you say, I'm so excited, God, because I believe that something good is going to happen You know what I say when I wake up today. every morning, first words out of my mouth, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, world. have something mercy upon me, a sinner. Something good is going to happen in my family. Every morning. Something good is going to happen to me at work. Oh, I believe I'm I declaring. I am going to sit oh. and be a Christian sourpuss, believing for everything negative that the devil wants to throw oh at me. God. I am determined that I am going to live the life that Jesus died to give me, and I believe that something good is going to <laughs> happen in my to forgive your sins, not Amen. give you health, wealth, and prosperity. Look at them, those ears. Ooh, she's scratching you what, them. You can live with hope and be a prisoner. My hope, hope is in the resurrection. And refuse to get hopeless and negative. There is just absolutely nothing the devil can do with you. <laughs> he has lost control. When no matter what he does, <laughs> the devil's you say, doing God's an awful lot to these good. people out of the mouth of the Something Joker good herself. Something bound to happen to me any moment, and it doesn't matter how much bad stuff has happened in the past. You say, well, what if I believe something good's going to happen today and it don't? Then get up tomorrow and believe again. Just. <laughs> what if it don't happen tomorrow? Then get up and believe That's again. That's the definition of insanity. And I tell you what you what if, Joyce, I devil. get up in the morning and, and believe that I am a forgiven sinner? What if I do that, Joyce? Characteristics of a healthy mind. Oh, my gosh. First I... of all, a healthy mind is peaceful. Oh. Wow. Can I, I have to go to bed after this, y'all. Simplicity. <laughs> We live in such I'm a reading the book of Concord today. tonight before I go to bed and to purify my brain. There's not enough green, alcohol in this wine. Anymore. We need to learn to love simplicity and to purposely keep our lives as simple as we possibly can. That's good advice, Joyce. I'm Doesn't turning you off. I can't do this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, so... Jesus did not die so we could be redeemed from stinking thinking. Jesus died because we are poor, wretched, miserable sinners, something that Joyce Myers vehemently denies. I am not poor, I am not miserable, and I am not a sinner. That is a lie from the pit of hell. That is what I were, and if I still was, then Jesus died in vain. I'm going to tell you something, folks. I didn't stop sinning until I finally got it through my sick head. I wasn't a sinner anymore. And the religious world thinks that's heresy, and they want to hang you for it. But the Bible says that I'm righteous, and I can't be righteous and be a sinner at the same time. The, the Apostle John writes, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. So if we're to be truthful, faithful Christians, we have to confess the same thing that the Bible says, that we sin. We sin in thought, word, and deed, but what we do and what we don't do. Second part, if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So it is okay to believe and to confess what the Bible says about you. You are a poor miserable sinner and you should confess that to god every single day and drown that old man that still lives in you by making the sign of the holy cross in the name of the father and of the son and the holy spirit remembering that you have been buried with christ into his death by baptism and raised with him to newness of life and that your hope is not in health wealth and prosperity but that the trumpet will one day sound and your body will be raised from the grave incorruptible and god will look at you and account of his son and say welcome home my good and faithful servant and you will live and reign with him for all of eternity in the new heaven and the new earth that is our hope and we confess that too but Jesus didn't die so that I could be healthy, wealthy, and prosperous. And as the Joker himself said, some people, well, he's an agent of chaos. That's what Joyce Meyer is. As, as um, <clears throat> oh, what's his name? It was um, the butler said, some people just want to watch the world burn. That's Joyce Myers. That's her preaching. Thank you for tuning in to 1517 Films' inaugural episode of... <laughs> 
Chris, Mystery Christian Theater 3000. Heavy on the mystery because I don't know why I'm doing this. And low on the Christian because we didn't hear an ounce of Christian doctrine. Until next time then, may God richly bless you in the grace and mercy won for you by Jesus' vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins.